just takes a little extra time to do that. But this kind of sped things up because I just rolled this out here, fired the generator, I turned the welder on, and what I was doing was um, bending, trying to bend these around here. This is going to be our trash trailer. If you can't tell, there's some trash there. The raccoons have been getting in it and tearing all the bags and going through it, and I had to clean it all up this morning. It was kind of a mess. Emily helped me clean it up, thankfully. And I uh, got all the trash bagged back up, and hopefully the raccoons can't lift this up or get underneath it. I don't, these raccoons are so fat. They're so huge. I don't think they're going to fit through here. If they do start fitting through here, um, uh, I'll have to figure out a way to... Of course, they have to get up here first, right? But maybe they can crawl over the top and get in. They're crafty little creatures. So the plan is to just go ahead and rub some phosphoric acid on these right here, on these little joints, and... Um, and paint them so this kind of overlies the whole trailer i want to be able to fold these up like this and then throw trash in and then just drop them back down so i'm going to put hog rings along here um, it does sag there and that's just going to be the way it's going to be um, i might end up putting a support bar if it sags a lot uh, just like a piece of angle across here and then uh, maybe drill a few holes in it and then hog ring to each of these so it'll kind of hinge and hold it more rigid i might or might not need to do that i don't know so we bent this side it was kind of hard to bend these, and you can see the bends didn't come out super straight or super great. Um, but it does work, and that's enough to hold it down. And you can you, know, you can lift it up, and so we can lift it up and throw some throw some trash in and set it down. These over here, I tried to get them a little sharper. So what I did was this was sticking out like this, and I just notched these about, cut them about halfway with a little cutoff wheel, not cut, 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 and then folded it down. Of course, they cracked, and that's why I welded them. And so this is like on 15 volts, you know, way down there, and like. 12, you know, 12 wire speed, not 12, I'm just joking, but um, way down there. So so those will fit nice and snugly. I think the raccoons are climbing up on the front of the trailer here. We see their tracks all around right here. They get up on the front of the trailer and then climb in. So here I think they're going to be able to climb around on the top of it, but they're not going to fit through this smaller, smaller uh, welded wire.
Okay, you really don't want to see a trailer full of trash, but this is basically what it looks like. Takes us about two, now that there's four of us here full time, it takes us about two months to fill it up. When it was just two of us, there were, you know, it, we could go three months. We could fill it up in three months. So when it's not quite full, you can still see some spaces there, but it's keeping the raccoons out and it's doing a good job as far as that goes, as long as I don't fill it too full that this raises up. And i um, pretty happy. It is saving us a lot of money. So these little welded pieces of chain that I cut in half seem to be holding well. Um, have them there, have them there, have them over there. So there's some in the middle, some over there. It does bow up a little bit, but not enough that a raccoon can get through. So that's good. And you know, I paid 500 bucks for this trailer. Um, did all the lighting on it and uh, did the wheel bearings, put some tires on it and um, had it for a few years now, and this is its purpose now. It's just the trash trailer, tall trash in.